Hey everyone, welcome back to WAC. My very first video was National Guard versus Infantry, and since then I have done one other video in the Versus series. Now it's time to get back to my roots with Motorized Infantry versus Mechanized Infantry. A quick reminder that if you have questions about Khan or just want to hang out, a link to the WAC Discord is below. If you want to create a new account, a link for new players is also below giving you free gold and security council. Now, back to the topic at hand. Firstly, we have Standard Infantry. They are a great all-around unit and are the default that most people use for ground armies. They have decent attack, standard HP, and at the max level, they even get a limited ranged attack in the form of mortars. Mechanized Infantry are beefier, slower, and more resourceful. They are amazing against armor and can deploy elite UGVs. Having 10 more hit points is enough on its own to make one seriously consider this unit. These are honestly both good all-around units, but depending on your playstyle, one will be better than the other. And I will make a personal determination as to which one is generally better, but to do that we will need to look at the detailed stats. Since this is a more detailed look than a unit review, let's start with the minimum level units. I threw National Guard in this stat comparison not only to remind you that they are the most cost effective province conquering unit, but also for some extra context in this stat chart. Right off the bat, we can see that mechanized are quite a bit more expensive, so you will have less units early game than if you went with standard infantry or especially National Guard. However, with mechanized, your stacks will have more concentrated power, and we'll be looking at some examples later on. In terms of infantry attack and defense, it is the same for each unit, meaning mechanized will win in a 1 versus 1 since it has 10 more hit points though it is a less cost-effective way to win the fight. And against armor, mechanized hands down beats infantry. They legit have more than twice the attack and defense against hard targets versus their standard counterparts. When we look at terrain disadvantages and advantages, we have quite a unique array of differences. Infantry will be better suited for urban and force encounters while struggling in mountains, jungles, and tundra. On the mechanized side of things, they will operate at their standard capacity in urban scenarios, and they will have advantages on open terrain, tundra, and desert. They will be hurting if they get into combat in mountains, forest, and jungles. These buffs and debuffs are designed to specifically counter the buffs that main battle tanks and light tanks get on certain terrain. In terms of infantry versus mechanized, I'd have to say that infantry has the advantage when it comes to fighting soft targets in invasions or while defending. When choosing what units you wish to use at the start of a game, it is incredibly important to see what most of the terrain is like in your country and the surrounding countries. For example, mechanized would excel in many parts of Africa or in colder areas like Canada or Russia. For infantry, I'd say they are generally useful everywhere. At the bottom here, we can see that mechanized infantry immediately have access to loitering munitions and elite UGVs. Honestly, I don't see it as much of a perk since most people don't want to be spending their rare materials on secret weapons labs and deployable gear early game. So, early game, who gets the W? I'd for sure say mechanized infantry are better in the early game. Having 25 HP instead of 15 is a huge gap. Not only will you win against soft targets with mechanized early game, but if anyone uses armor against you, they will get absolutely wrecked. Now for the late game comparison. When we look at the stats, the gap closes quite a bit. Mechanized is still quite a bit more expensive, but it no longer outperforms as much. The terrain buffs and debuffs remain the same, but now infantry can deploy loitering munitions. Now this is very important. Mechanized infantry is a bit slower than motorized infantry. Speed is very crucial in this game, so that is honestly a major downside. 
Also, as I've stated previously, infantry have a ranged attack at the max level, which can never be ignored. Mechanized do have NBC protection, meaning they can tank chemical and nuclear warheads a bit better than infantry. So yeah, those are the basic stats of these two units. Next, I would like to look at some stack comparisons to see how a fight between these two could turn out. Alright, so I have some potential stacks here with their estimated stats, assuming that my math is right. It may be a lot to take in, so let's go through it piece by piece. We have our two normal stacks of infantry and mechanized, then of course we have them paired with an officer. I thought the level 4 officer would be good for this example, since not everyone is a high enough rank to have the max level infantry officer, including myself. We've also got a stack of mechanized with an elite UGV, since they can deploy them. Keep in mind that having this unit means the stack can scout, reveal stealth, gets 30 view range, has radar, and an army boost, which I applied to the numbers for this stack. Lastly, I put in the numbers for a half SBG, half mechanized stack. Since mechanized infantry do not have mortars like motorized infantry, it may be wise to consider this type of combined stack. In terms of cost, we can see that anything that involves mobile artillery or an officer is going to have a high upfront cost. Furthermore, any stack with an officer is going to absolutely rock. If you have a stack of mechanized with a level 4 officer or above, you'll actually move a little faster than a default stack of infantry, which is very nice. For the mixed artillery stack, while you will have a lot less ranged attack against soft than a stack of infantry will, you will have a lot more range, meaning you will get at least one attack on incoming infantry if you are AFK before they reach you, and potentially as many attacks as you want if you are active. You just won't be able to chase down enemy infantry without an officer. So, what happens to a stack after it gets hit by a ranged attack? Well, let's take a look. If mechanized get hit by a ranged attack, they basically lose a huge portion of their health advantage versus normal infantry, meaning they cannot win an assault on a city occupied by infantry. If infantry try to assault a city with 5 SBGs and 5 mechanized units stationed in it, I'm inclined to think that the defenders will win especially if the infantry stack goes in for a melee assault without doing at least one ranged attack first. Keep in mind the aggressive firing mode is not available for infantry like it is for all other ranged units when you have security council. At the end of the day, standard infantry have a lot going for them, and mechanized either need artillery or deployable gear, or an infantry officer to make them better than motorized infantry. And if you want to know more about the Elite UGV, I made a full review of it in this video. And yeah, honestly, picking units can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. Personally, I usually like to experiment and choose whatever looks fun. For these two types of infantry though, there are a few things to consider when picking which one you want. First off, Doctrine. For these spreadsheet comparisons, I used the Eastern Doctrine. But with the European Doctrine, mechanized infantry get 10% more speed and 25% more attack against soft targets, making them a lot more appealing than in other doctrines. Second off is Terrain. I would feel very comfortable using mechanized over infantry in places with lots of open ground, desert, or tundra. And motorized infantry is pretty versatile since they have urban attack bonuses, which is where most ground combat happens anyway. Lastly, I would ask, if you are using mechanized infantry, will you support them with either artillery or constant air support? Because if not, you are taking a big risk assuming that your enemy will not have artillery, but at least mechanized have decent anti-air by themselves. After laying everything out and talking through a few scenarios, I think I've decided that the National Guard is the winner. Wait, sorry, wrong video. Between motorized infantry and mechanized infantry, I have given the win to motorized infantry. They are simply too versatile and easy to use. And at the max level, the mortar is simply too good. 
and the attack and defense bonuses in cities and suburban areas make them one of the best ground units against soft targets for sure. I think infantry are boring since most people seem to rely heavily on them, but I cannot deny how overwhelmingly useful they are. And while I love mechanized infantry, they are more situational than not. And if you stayed till the end, congratulations. Just for you, I'll give you a little piece of advice. With aircraft, you can attack individual units if you want, but if you patrol instead, you can hit multiple targets at once. Just keep in mind, you will take defense damage from each target that you hit. Thanks again for sticking until the end. Sorry for the dry spell and content that this channel has been through. I'll make it up to you in the coming weeks and months ahead. See ya. Thank you.